She said, it's not life or death, the labyrinth. I'm okay, so what is it? Suffering, she said. Doing wrong and having wrong things happen to you. That's a problem. Bolivar was talking about the pain, not about the living or the dying. How do you get out of, out of the labyrinth of suffering? Nothing's wrong, but there's always suffering, Pudge. Homework or malaria or having a boyfriend who is far away when there's a good-looking boy lying next to you. Suffering is universal. It's the one thing Buddhists, Christians, and Muslims are all worried about. That was a quote from the book Looking for Alaska by John Green. I chose this quote because it is unanswerable and it really makes you think about what really is the next step. Is death the next step? Is this the next step? And it is also the guiding passage for the entire book. You'll see later on. Well, in this book, the main character is named Miles Halter. He moves to a new school in Clover Creek, and he is obsessed with famous last words. He spent his time remembering them and looking for something he called the great perhaps. To him, the great perhaps is something exciting that is going to happen to him, something that is going to make people want to remember his last words. Well, in this new school, he falls into a tight group of friends and finds himself captivated by the young Alaska. Together, they ban the college rule books with midnight drinking and hilariously devious pranks. Alaska is confident, mysterious, outgoing, and definitely unique. That right when things could become any better, a horrifying incident happens, and it turns Miles' world upside down. In this book, I think the theme would be death, because from all the things we've seen, for example, Miles' obsession with famous last words, Alaska's mysteriousness, and how she is always related to these signs of death, for example, her dark sides, and how she's always moody. But to me, I think death is unexpected. To look back for on Alaska Young herself, one of her posts were, Y'all smoke to enjoy, I smoke to die. This really is a suggestion, I think, to how she thinks her life is. Though this is a subject that many authors avoid to write about because it is so diverse, John Green has really made it into a real essence and make it worthwhile your reading. To conclude, Looking for Alaska is one of the books you have to read before you die. It really changes you forever and even after you finish it, it makes you think about your life and the whole world itself. What is real and what is not. There is so much diversity in this book that I believe that every chapter is completely out of place, yet also pitch perfect.